So in today's video, we are going. Do, should I always start like with the intro, like me saying what the video is gonna be about? Yeah. Or, yeah, yeah. All right, let's just forget my like Hazel Boy Jackie. No, yeah. Do do Hazel Boy Jackie. Right, get that. Get that on camera. Get that on camera. He always ruins my shit, bro. He always ruins my stuff, bro. Hey guys, it's Boy Jackie. And I'm back with another video. And today, if y'all can not tell from the title of the video, we are going to see who has the best boba in Georgia. AKA Atlanta, AKA the suburbs of Atlanta, AKA Gwinnett. So in today's video, we have five different boba spots that we are going to, and basically I kind of picked the most five popular ones, basically just to test those out. And basically we're gonna keep the test simple. We're gonna go get the basic milk tea so we don't change it up. We're not gonna spice it up too much because I think in order to tell if a boba place has a good like drinks is to have if they have a good basic milk tea and if they have good boba so with that said the five places we are going to we are going to sweet hut kung fu tea ding tea tiger sugar and quickly's those are kind of the five most popular ones in georgia aka atlanta aka the suburbs of atlanta aka Gannett. so if you guys want to see a part two where i try more local spots or not known spots let me know down below by blowing up this video hitting that like button and just commenting something nice so before we go to the boba shops i'm gonna tell you guys how we are going to be ranking each boba shops so since we are going to five shops there are going to be five different calories for each ranking and as i previously stated one of them is going to be the taste of the milk tea the taste of the balls the aesthetic of the cup slash the overall shop and then the customer service and then last but not least the price so with that said, it's going to be rated 1 out of 5 or 0 out of 5, and then it's going to have an overall score of 25. So whoever has the lowest one is going to be the worst in this video, and then whoever has the highest one is going to be the best in this video. And lastly, before we go, this video is not sponsored by any of them, and don't come at me if I don't like it. It could just be a bad day if the boba is bad, because boba can really taste bad one day, but taste good a different day from different places. Um, it just depends on who's making it, whoever the barista is, and... Yeah, this video is not to give them any hate or, yeah, I'm not trying to hate on a certain place, none. This is just really a taste test to see who has the best boba in Gwinnett. With that said, before the train gets any louder, because I do live by a train, let's go. So before going to get boba, we couldn't go on an empty stomach. So we just had some pho, and by we, I mean me and my camera person, and basically that pho was amazing, and when we were sitting eating it, bro, it was so good, we were like, we gotta do a who has the best pho. So we're probably gonna do that next. So yeah, let me know if you guys wanna see that. But with that said, we are going to the first boba shop and the first boba shop that we are going to is going to be Sweet Hut. And actually, fun fact, Sweet Hut is actually my first job I've ever had. And my dad knows some owners with Sweet Hut, um, but that does not mean I'm gonna be biased towards Sweet Hut. I'm still gonna be very critique and very critical. You guys might even roast me on how um, observative and critique I am just because yeah, I'm gonna be very critical. Um, yeah, with that said, let's go to Sweet Hut. So we just arrived to Sweet Hut. We are going to be getting just a milk tea with boba, um, large size, just to compare the prices because I feel like large is basically a lot of people's normal sizes, I guess, um, specifically from Sweet Hut because they have a regular and large. With that said, we're gonna get the boba and taste it. Sweet Hut also is a bakery as well. It's just a bakery and a cafe. So they got a whole bunch of um, sweets and food and cakes and yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, so we got the Sweet Hut milk tea with boba right here. The cup, basic, you know what I'm saying? It just says Sweet Hut Bakery, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Brandon. Um, yeah, the branding is pretty good. They got all the Facebook, Twitter, I guess that's Yelp. I don't know. Best taste within two hours. Beverage may contain choking hazards, which is the balls. Um, lid, it's kind of cool. I don't know what that logo is supposed to be. It looks like a shell. Oh, it looks like a one of them little rolls. The bakery rolls. So that makes sense. Um, but yeah, this is the drink. It's just a basic house milk tea with boba. <laughs> All right, so we got the straw. We are about to just, all right, first, let's not even try to get boba. Let's mix it up, you know what I'm saying? Let's just try, this This is the milk test, all right? So we are going to be rating this milk test zero through five. I got ice, my fault. All 
All right. All right. It tastes very like, I guess, chocolatey tea. Like it tastes like, like a mix of chocolate and coffee. I don't know. I'm not really messing with this milk tea. I'm, I'm, this might be a harsh rating. I'm gonna give it a two out of five for the milk tea. All right, let's try the balls. The balls are kind of bland. And boba balls are really just like sugar chewy balls. I ain't really getting that from these. Hmm, this is kind of tough. I'm gonna give, give the boba a three out of five. Cause it's, it's just mid, it's, it's, it's mid. The milk tea itself is below mid, but the boba is just mid. All right, let's look at the design, the aesthetic of the store. Um, overall, I think the store is pretty pleasing, uh, but the, the cup is kind of boring, basic. This has been the same cup for the past, how many years this place has been opened? Um, so uh, that's gonna be minus points. I think the store itself though is above average. So I'm gonna say it's like a four. Aesthetically, it's a four out of five. Now, when it comes to the customer service though, we had a quick interaction with the cashier. It was very quick. And I'm gonna give them minus points because you know how they ask for your name. I said, Jackie. They didn't put Jackie, they put fucking Jack. That shit on the receipt says Jack. I'm not fucking Jack, I'm Jackie. I'm Jackie fucking Wongers, you know what I'm saying? So that gotta be minus points. Um, honestly, I'm gonna give it honest like customer service, low key, like a two, three. I'm gonna give it a 2.5. It's not, I feel like it's av like right there, average below average, you know what I'm saying? Just because I feel like it's a whole bunch of angry teenagers who really don't wanna work but are forced to work. I'm only saying that from my past experience because that's kinda how I was back in the day when I started at Sweetheart. And last but not least, the price. The price of this drink alone was $5.95 and then the taxes was 36 cents. So making this a total of six thirty one. So the question is, is the price worth it? Honestly, I think I'm going to say no. Because you, for six thirty one, I feel like you can get something that is better for either the same, less, or a little bit more. And since that's the case, I would rather get that than this. So overall pricing, I'm going to just give it a 2.5. Because it's an average to below average pricing the pricing score might change and that might be the only score that changes throughout this day because it depends on how much each of the bobas cost but from what i recall most boba places charge from five to seven dollars per drink anyways so it just really depends on that so that's kind of the basis of um, what i'm going off since this is the first store we went to so overall sweet hut got a score of 14 out of 25 which is not a bad score if you do the math, I don't know what the percentage is. But yeah, overall, 14 out of 25 is not bad. With that said, though, when I do go to Sweet Hut, I don't normally just get a basic milk tea. I normally get something different. So Sweet Hut does still have good drinks. Just, I guess, the house milk tea isn't up to my standards of having a good house milk tea. So with that said, time to go to Thing Tea. So now we got our Thing Tea. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm going to have to change some adjustments on the price because this was 630 and this is more than the sweet hut one but look how tiny it is it's like it's like it's, it's pretty small it's pretty small um but yeah i guess ding tea has been around since 2004 um the design of the cup is i guess cute you know what i'm saying it's, i guess the more typical like plushy boba look you know what i'm saying the little curved bottom you know um other than that though the aesthetics of the place was pretty bad compared to sweet huts there wasn't really much in there we didn't get much we didn't get any footage from there to be honest so honestly aesthetically i'm gonna give it like a one be nice to give it like a one in my opinion um the cup cool but it's still kind of basic no color black it is what it is but yeah aesthetically i'm gonna give it a one but that's it let's just jump right into it let's get started let's try the milk tea so here's the dilemma I don't know if I like this one more or less than the Sweetheart one. I think I'm gonna say less. So I'm gonna give this one, honestly, probably a one. Let's try the boba though. So the difference between the Sweetheart boba and this boba is that this boba is clear, while 
the Sweet Hut one is like black. Where's Boba? Not good. I don't really pay something. I'm gonna give it a one. So right now for the three categories that we have, it's three, three for 15. So it's not that good right now. Now moving on to the customer service. The customer service was not as good because I mean, there was a lot of workers there. They didn't give me a receipt. Um, there was people in front of us. Um, and sorry for the background noise. My, my dog Dexter's going crazy. He's like over there right now. I think there was something on the other side of the fence. <laughs> But back to what I was saying though, um, customer service was mid in my opinion. I'm gonna give it honestly a one. And then last but not least, the price, I'm gonna give it a one, two, just because 6.30 for this tiny ass drink, when I could go sweet, get that drink for the same price, not even the same price, for less. Um, so yeah, basically I'm gonna change the sweet hut one to maybe like a, I'll give that one like a solid four. I'm gonna give this one a one. So overall, this is a five out of 25. Ding tea, not that good. I don't go to it often. Um, no hate against y'all. Y'all just ain't my cup of tea. With that said, let's go on to the next one before Dexter goes crazy. I also forgot to mention that the Sweet Hut one was a large. So for a large, that Sweet Hut was 6.30 versus a regular one from Ding Tea, which is 6.30. So I would rather get the large from Sweet Hut as the small from Ding Tea is the same price as the large from Sweet Hut. All right, so right now we are at quickly you know what i'm saying um i never noticed that it said ramen noodle and boba tea um i've never seen ramen at quickly's but you know quickly um is definitely more known in my opinion for their food their food is very very good while the boba the drinks can be can be not as good with that said fun fact Quickly's was definitely like probably the first boba spot that my mom had in ever introduced me to because I think Quickly originates from Taiwan. My mom's Taiwanese and boba's from Taiwan. So my mom used to get Quickly's for me when I was younger a lot. So yeah, so we are going to get Quickly and see how it is. All right, so we just got the Quickly's cup. Um, just like Ding Tea has a little bottom cup. Um, and quick update about the Ding Tea, um, the, 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 aesthetic of the cup my camera person was like oh i actually thought it was better than sweet huts so i guess i'll give it instead of a one i'll give it a two but this is the quickly's um first things first the price the price is the cheapest one so far it's 582 it's the cheapest one by about 50 cents um the drink itself was 549 plus tax is 33 cents making it 582 so far price this is the cheapest five out of five the design though honestly other than just the quickly you know what i'm saying it's just it's like plaid um so honestly and then the inside of the store reminds me of like a nightclub i don't know but the inside of the the quickly's needs it's okay so overall design i think i'm gonna give it maybe like a the aesthetic of the overall honestly honestly i'm gonna have to give Quickly is a two, and then I'll move Ding T's up to a three, and then Sweet Huts can stay at four. That's what I'm gonna go with. And then before we do the taste test, we are going to do the customer service. Honestly, the customer service was kinda, it's okay. The reason why I don't like Quickly's customer service is nothing to do with the workers. It's because it's just like a glass wall. So it's like, you know how in like movie scenes or in prison stuff like that the glass wall and you know, i gotta talk to you like the telephone it's kind of it feels like that so that's kind of what i don't like about quickly's you know what i'm saying um because you have to talk through like a mic to talk to them and yeah and sorry for the bad lighting this is probably gonna be the only clips from today that are going to have bad lighting because they like saving fuck this video up not because i did other stuff in between and no, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Um, but this is going to be the only one that has bad light. With that said, let's just get ready to taste this. Guys, shake that up. And then just, you know what I'm saying? Let's start with the the drink. I got boba, so I mean. The boba? Let me, let me get one some more. I don't really taste nothing with the boba. I think I'm gonna give it the same rating as Ding Tea as a one, just because I can't really taste anything. Um, 
Yeah, but let's try the tea itself. I keep getting boba. I keep getting balls in my mouth. The drink itself, very bland, very no flavor. Let me give this a one as well. So overall, the price is good, but the quality of the drink is not as good. So I would say the milk tea itself is probably a one. And I forgot to give a rating for the customer service. I'll give that probably like a two. So overall, I think quickly ends with an 11 out of 25. Yeah, honestly, 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 honestly. The reason why a lot of these places might have low ratings is because I'm getting the basic milk tea and maybe it just needs flavoring sugar or whatever but the basic milk tea kind of sucks i remember growing up i used to love the basic milk tea from quickly's it just don't hit the same no more it don't but like i said let's give it the benefit of the doubt maybe it's just because it's the basic milk tea and same with dean tea and the same with sweet hut maybe the other drinks are way better but yeah that's all i gotta say so on to the next all right so we are at kung fu tea yeah um i'm probably not gonna film much um yeah i'm probably gonna get kung fu tea and here goes the taste test so we got my kung fu tea you know what i'm saying we got the little dragon i don't know what dragons and kung fu got but we got that but we have probably the most expensive bubble of the day um so first things first we're gonna talk about the price the price of this right just the drink alone the just regular kung fu milk tea was 515 right that's pretty cheap compared to the other ones, right? But this is how they get you. The upcharge of large is 70 cents. I don't even remember asking for large. I don't even remember them asking me for regular or large. So we got a large though. So that added 70 cents. And then boba, boba was 75 cents. So just to get the balls was 75 cents more. So that's how they get you. So my total was $7 after taxes. So the total of the drink, the large cup, and the boba was six sixty, and the tax was forty cents. So this was seven dollars. So this is the most expensive one. So hopefully this is the best one. So I guess you can conclude that the price for me is probably one because that's expensive for compared to everything else. But if it is, if this is good, I'm gonna bump up the price to two. So let's just jump right into it. So going into the design, you got a little dragon right there. The thing has the branding Kung Fu Tea, Kung Fu Tea. We got the little sticker. Um, it's kind of, it's a unique cup because it's like, it goes up and then gets wide. I don't know why it's like that. Um, to me, it kind of looks a little weird. It looks kind of goofy, not gonna lie. But I guess it helps them stand out. Uh, but yeah, Kung Fu Tea's aesthetic, the, the inside of it, we didn't film in there because we were in the rush because, um, I needed to use the bathroom. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But basically, um, we got the the inside was okay. But I would say overall, the aesthetic of this, probably give it like a three. I feel like this is average. And then we're gonna talk about the customer service. The waitress was nice. She said, give me a second because it looked like she had a big, big order in front of us. So she handled that and then she helped us out. And then we got this pretty quickly. So I'm gonna give that customer service a three. It's average, it was good enough for me. I was happy with it. With that said, so far out of the three ratings, it has an average rating of seven. So let's see if it goes up any higher or whatever happens. With that, let's just get right into it and let's taste the drink itself. Honestly, by far the best tea we've had all day. I'm not even exaggerating. Like all the other teas today have been more bland and had no flavor as soon as i tasted this milk tea i could taste the sugar i could taste something you know what i'm saying other than just blandness so yeah i think i'm gonna give this like a four out of four out of five now for the boba um i kind of been hyping kung fu tea up as having the best boba but we're gonna test that out right now It did not live up to the hype. It's like, I can barely taste it. I have to try very hard to taste it. I 
I think it's like below average boba. So I'm gonna give it a two. So overall, it got an average score of, I think around 13 out of 25 if my math is correct. So I think this is the second highest rating boba. I think the first one that we've had today was Sweet Hut and Sweet Hut is still the boba to beat. As Sweet Hut has like, a, I think a 15 or 14. So this came close, but Sweet Hut's still at number one. And we have one more competitor to see if they can knock off Sweet Hut, which is Tiger Sugar. So with that being said, next is Tiger Sugar. Last but not least, Tiger Sugar, the loaf. Um, yeah, Tiger Sugar. Sorry for the tree blocking you and it's late at night. Sorry, but Tiger Sugar, last but not least. Last but not least, we have Tiger Sugar. Um, honestly, the aesthetics, this is probably the best looking boba of the day, but here's the problem. Um, it's been shooken, watered down and whatever. Basically the sugar on the side, you can barely see it like right here still. There was more around, but it's gone now. Um, so yeah, but also the cup is probably my favorite because look at that. I don't know what that says. That probably says tiger or something, but like it looks like a tiger. And then like, yeah. As someone from 17 would say, Hoshi, I, 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 I'm I assuming, or I'm thinking, you go, rawr. So my, my friend was saying that Hoshi would love tiger sugar. But um, honestly, the store, y'all saw that it had a cool tiger. Other than that, wasn't much. Um, they had a cool seating. Um, so overall, aesthetically, I'll give this Tiger Sugar a four. Time to shake it up because you gotta mix it everything. My only thing as well with thumb that I have is kind of the customer service slash the options that they have. They really didn't have any basic house milk tea or anything like that. The most basic drink they had was just the brown sugar milk. And that's what we got with no cream. Um, but the menu was very, 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 very confusing. And another thing is that it wasn't even taken by a person. It was ordered by yourself, by AI, basically, by one of them little machines. Sorry for the train. All right, so basically what I was saying before I was really interrupted by the train, um, basically the customer service was kind of bad in my opinion because we didn't even order from a person. It was ordered from a machine. And one of them, like, I don't know what they're called, the AIs, the self-ordering things. I don't know what they're called, but basically you have the order by yourself. And I was looking there looking goofy. And if the store is busy, I would understand why they wouldn't have asked if like, if I need help or anything, but it was really just like four people in the store total. And it's a pretty big store, you know what I'm saying? And they had like four workers back there just talking about something, didn't know what they were talking about, but they were just fucking around acting like they didn't want to be there. I don't know if it's just me or I'm picky or whatever, but when people, like at work and they don't work, you know what I'm saying? I guess specifically in customer service jobs, like do your job, bro. So honestly, honestly, I think this customer service rating for me is gonna be very, very low. And by low, I mean it's a zero. I'm giving it a zero. With that said though, let's look at the price real quick. So the drink itself was 550. So, but 550 for a small compared to like Sweet Hut's 590 for a large, the other places for a large, um, because I feel like the large for Tiger Sugar would have been around, I think close to six, almost $7. So I guess all the drinks have been around the same price. So I'm gonna give it an average score of three. So, so far it has an eight. So it needs a seven to beat Sweet Hut and it needs a six to tie. So last but not least, it's going to be the taste test. So let's start with the boba. Oops. I don't like that tea. I do not like the tea. I don't really taste something. I don't taste nothing. Let me try the bubble real quick. Honestly, I don't taste nothing. Just to make sure I don't have COVID, I'm gonna see if I can still taste my Kung Fu tea. Yeah, I can still taste that one. So, Tiger Sugar tea, I don't taste nothing. I don't taste nothing at all. Maybe it's because my ice melted it or something, 
But I wasn't gonna select no ice because if I selected no ice, that was been the like additional fifty cent charge. Like no offense to Tiger, why the fuck are you charging me to take off the ice? That's fucking crazy. Honestly, honestly, because like I can't even taste the boba. It's, I'm giving them both ones. So with that said, Tiger Sugar came in with a score of ten. So after tasting all five different boba places and coming to a conclusion, the place that has the best house milk tea is going to be Sweet Hut with the score of 15, but right behind it with Kung Fu Tea with a close score of 14. So it could have been anybody's game. With that said though, I'm not gonna say any of these stories are bad. It just, the house milk tea is probably one of the most basic milk teas ever. Um, and most of the times it needs other flavors such as um, like peppermint milk tea or like the taro tea, strawberry milk tea, you know what I'm saying? There's a whole bunch of different flavors of different teas um, that other places could have better, but just the house milk tea from these five specific places today, those were my taste buds and how they were feeling, and that's just kind of how it is. So with that said, no hate towards any of the stores that we went to. Much love to all of them for making us boba, you know what I'm saying? Um, I got to have an excuse to just drink boba, so yeah, that's good. So with that said though, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see a part two, let me know by going down below in the comments and letting me know or hitting that like button so I can give you guys a part two. Or if you guys want to see me try different types of boba, such as Thai teas, uh, strawberry milk teas, taro, matcha, let me know because that could be an option too. We can go to the same place and get the same drink from them. But with that said, that's all I have for you guys today. And... Don't take me too seriously because I'm not a professional food critic like Gordon Ramsay. But I love Gordon Ramsay. That's my role model. I'm trying to meet him one day. So I have nothing else left to say and I don't want to ramble too much. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and subscribe and your boy is out.